Kumar from Neptune Marine Info where knowledge has no boundaries friends today we are going to discuss about construction and working of two stroke marine diesel engine so without a wasting of time let's start today's content let's start a discussion with two stroke cycle two stroke of the piston or we can say piston going up piston going down or one's compression and one's expansion friends we can also say that one complete revolution gives one power stroke the cycle is completed in a two stroke of the engine piston where first one the compression stroke otherwise we can say scavenging and suction and second one is the power stroke means expansion and exhaust friends let discuss about the construction of two stroke engine start with bed plate a function of a bed plate is to support the static load of stationary engine frame and blocks to support the dynamic load of the running gear to support the crankshaft and hold it in a perfect alignment to distribute the static and dynamic load generated by running engine onto the ship structure to collect the crankcase loop oil and transfer it to the sump tank from where the low boil pump can take suction to fasten the engine to the tank top transmitting propeller thrust to the hull structure to contribute to the hull strength of the ship at engine room bottom structure now second one is the crank shaft it is the intermediate part of a marine engine which transfers the power of a firing cylinder from reciprocating piston to rotating propeller now third one is the crank case it is the casing which houses the crank shaft and the lower end of the connecting rod now fourth one is a frame it carry the cross head guides and support the engine cylinder block now next one is the connecting rod it is fitted between cross head and crank shaft it transmit the firing force and together with the crank shaft converts the reciprocating motion to a rotary motion now cross head a reciprocating block which usually slides in a guides and is the connecting point for piston rod and the connecting rod in a low speed two stroke diesel engine or for rams and tiller in a steering gear now next one is the stuffing box it is nothing but a seal between crankcase and under piston space it prevents the dirtying of the engine bearing oil by combustion residue now next one is the intake port it design impacts the breathing capacity of the engine as well as bulk motion of the air as it enters the cylinder next one is the piston rod it help in transmitting power produced in the combustion space to the cross head and running gear of the engine now next one is the piston a cylindrical metal component which reciprocates in the cylinder under gas pressure it is connected to the piston rod now next one is the scavenge air cooler with the increase in demand of 
power for a marine engine it became important to control the temperature of the combustion chamber and hence scavenge air cooler were placed in between the turbocharger and engine cylinder now next one is the scavenge receiver scavenge air existing the air coolers enter the receiver now next one is the turbocharger it is the most efficient machinery to provide charge air for combustion purpose now next one is the exhaust valve exhaust produced by the engine needs to be drawn out to the heat recovery system such as turbocharger and economizer and eventually to the atmosphere this is done by fitting an exhaust valve now last but not the least exhaust receiver the exhaust gas from the cylinder unit is sent to exhaust gas receiver where the fluctuating pressure generated from different cylinders are equalized from here the gases which are at a constant pressure are sent to turbocharger where waste heat is recovered to provide additional scavenge air to engine after the construction let discuss about a two stroke engine first one compression stroke the scavenge and exhaust ports are uncovered and pressurized air is fed into the cylinder this fresh air does the scavenge process it cleans the cylinder of the exhaust gases from the previous cycle the piston then travels upwards closing the exhaust and scavenge ports and starts compressing the air at the end of the upward stroke the air pressure in the cylinder builds up to 32 to 45 bar and correspondingly its temperature rises to 650 to 800 degree centigrade now power stroke otherwise we can say that down stroke of the piston when fuel is supplied by the injector to the hot compressed air it reaches its self ignition temperature and ignites the combustion causes the expansion of gases which push the piston downwards towards bdc the piston being pushed downwards by the combustion gases is doing work and hence the stroke is called power or expansion stroke the exhaust ports are uncovered at approximately 40 to 75 degrees of crankshaft rotation just before bdc this allows the exhaust gases to escape to the atmosphere and the pressure in this cylinder now falls to around 2 to 4 bar the temperature is high due to the exhaust gases to 50 to 500 degree centigrade the exhaust ports are kept uncovered for approximately 118 to 130 degree of crank rotation the scavenge ports are kept open for 100 to 140 degree of crank rotation friends let discuss about the wall timing diagram of two stroke engine let's start with zero position it represent the spo spo means scavenge port opens 42 degree before bdc here bdc means bottom dead center now position 0 to 1 air is shucked in which pushes out the residual exhaust gases now position 1 represent bdc piston is at bdc now position 1 2 2 completion of scavenging process and filling with fresh air for combustion position 2 represent spc 
SPC means scavenge port closes 42 degree after BDC. Then after position 2 to 3, it represent post scavenging takes place. Then position 3, EVC. EVC means exhaust valve closes 60 degree after BDC. Then after position 3 to 4, it represent compression of air. At position 4, FIS. FIS means fuel injection starts 60 degree before TDC. Here TDC means top dead center. Then after position 5, fuel ignition commences near TDC. Then after position 6, fuel injection and combustion completion. Then after position 6 to 7, expansion of heat energy from combustion being converted into work energy to push the piston downwards. At position 7, is represent EVO. EVO means exhaust valve opens 75 degree before BDC. Then after 7 to 0 position, blowdown of exhaust gases seen as a sudden rapid pressure drop on the PV diagram. So friends, here finished today's session. In upcoming video, we will discuss about construction and working of four-stroke diesel engine. Till that, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you and take care.